Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to Fix That Engineer and welcome to our very first 60 FPS video. Yes, I'm experimenting with my new computer and it to me it looks amazing. It looks better if you can't tell maybe your device or whatever, but I mean 60 FPS looks so smooth compared to 30. But yes, welcome to Fix It Engineer where we have um, we have heroes that need to be upgraded. We have tons of dark elixir. We don't have uh, a need to upgrade anything in our laboratory, but we're only two days away from that dragon being done. So we probably should save some elixir just in case. Just in case. So, without any more delay, guys, let's get in there. Let's get some dark elixir. I've got um, just enough space in my storage to do an upgrade first before we actually go and do an upgrade. Or to do a raid and then do an upgrade. So let's try to find a base with a ton of dark elixir. Look at how smooth... Again, I'm sorry if you can't see this, but look at how smooth the, the clouds go in and out. I mean, watch, watch, watch. Oh man, that is just beautiful. I don't know. It's taken me a long time to finally be able to do 60 frames per second instead of 30. My computer that I was using before was like seven years old. So I finally committed to upgrading it and I can tell that this was definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. So let's attack this base because um, it's got 4,700 big ones, and, um, actually we need to attack, ooh, okay, um, let's go, uh, we're gonna have to go for a three star, obviously, but I really want the elixir too, look at all that elixir right there in one spot, but I'm gonna be smart, and I'm gonna come in from the top to snag all of that dark elixir from the, uh, from the top, okay, so let's get the wall wrecker, let's get the warden, let's get the king, and, um, I guess the queen too, we're just gonna go all in, all right, let's pop the warden's ability, uh, we'll heal the corners, and let's actually get a uh, poison in there too, and let's actually heal right there, heal and rage. There's Valkyries in the in the course, so that should work out very nicely. Boom, everything is getting gutted, nice. Alright, pop that King's ability, he will lead the charge. I'm gonna heal into the corner there, there we go, awesome. So guys, it looks like this will be the three star that we wanted, and oh, I cannot get, I can't get over how good this looks at 60 frames per second, like, Again, I, I, I couldn't do it. Like, my computer couldn't handle it. But now, I hope it's going to take it like a champ. Like, in the past, uh, rendering took forever at 60 FPS, so that's why I stuck it at 30. But with a new computer, it may not be so bad. So, bam, baby, that's a three-star. And, uh, ooh, the numbers counting up was smooth, man. Wow. I'm, I'm absolutely loving this. And the program I'm using to record Streamlabs OBS. I was using the OBS Studios up until today. Uh, but guys, it's showing me that it's the recording of this 1080p 60 frame, 60 frames per second video is only using up 15% of my CPU. That's pretty solid. That is really, really nice. I, I bought the AMD Ryzen 7 3800X. I was going to get the 3900X instead of the 38, but it was back ordered, so I just decided not to wait. I was... I was impatient, and I'm a little embarrassed by that, but at the same time, I'm not sorry. <laughs> so I need to donate some Valkyries to myself. We need to go get some more loot. I'm actually, ooh, I need to spend a little bit of loot first. Okay, well, let's donate. Um, actually, let's do the upgrade. Somebody will donate. Somebody will take care of me. No problemo. So, guys, Dark Elixir is the name of the game. I've got 195,000 Dark Elixir. If I do one more raid, I'll max Dark Elixir and waste a little bit, so we need to do an upgrade now. And what better way to celebrate 60 FPS for the very first time than to upgrade the king to level 45? 45, right? I mean, when I upgraded the queen to 45, I said, yeah, it's like the big weight you go when you go to the gym. It's 45 pounds. Uh, but the king, he's going, he obviously lifts, bro. I mean, look at his arms. He's much bigger arms than I do. Uh, but 182,000 dark elixir, seven day upgrade. It's not necessarily that you get great gains at 45, but you do get another iron fist ability. And that is going to make it all the more worth it. And then both of the heroes will be level 45. And then we only have 10 hero levels to go before fix and engineer heroes are maxed. That is going to be insane. So let's go ahead and upgrade the king guys. Level uh, 45, 7 day upgrade, 182,000 dark elixir in 3, 2, 1, bam. And um, I'm going to need to, uh, I'm going to need to use this book. That's right, because I'm about to get another book from... 
I, I always forget the gold pad, the season pass, the silver pass, whatever. So let's use this book of heroes and get the king to level 45 immediately. And that's going to kick off a seven day time warp. Are you guys ready to time travel? Let's go in three, two, one. Bam. Guys, having two level 45 heroes looks so good. We're not quite there yet. We're not in the in the clear where we can be like, we're maxed, but we're pretty dang close. This looks looks so good. All right, so guys, uh, my gold is okay. Somebody did donate. I, I saw Miss V donated some stuff. So, uh, oh, the, the, the zooming in on the base looks so good in 60 FPS. Oh, I can't get over it. Oh, but I need to get over it and focus on what I'm doing here. Okay, so um, guys, with both heroes now at level 45, I found a base worth 5,600 Dark Elixir. So here's what we're going to do here. Let me see. Two drills. The storage is up there. The drill's over there. Eek. I definitely have to make sure that I get the storage. Uh, if I come in from the top right, then I can also get the Eagle artillery in the process. So I say that's what we do. Okay, so uh, let's go. We're going. We're going for broke, basically. Like if we don't three star, then we don't get we don't get the loot. Um, so <laughs> no bueno. All right, no bueno at all. Uh, let's go ahead and drop a warden's ability there. That'll get us through some splash damage as well. There's no CC. It appears. I uh, just want to make sure. I don't think so. Okay, so let's poison, let's heal over that, and I say we heal over that as well. I've got both my heroes that I've saved just for this occasion, okay, and oh, come on, Valkyries, break through the wall, come on, break through the wall. They're under rage, what happened to them, man? They're all like running off in the wrong direction, that's all right, all right, so I've got one more heal. I'm thinking healing that right there, the wizard tower, the bomb tower, the miner should be able to get through that pretty easily, and also the Valkyries are there. Ooh, we got lucky. Check this out. We got a set of miners bounce up and grab that drill down there. So now all of the dark elixir left on the base is actually down here at the bottom. So let's use this new, new and improved level 45 king to pick up the wing here. Let's go. Let's do this. King, I'm going to use your ability as soon as you're in view. Ready? And king's ability. Let's go. Let's just watch how long this lasts, okay? It's actually surprising. If you just sit there and listen or focus on the king, his ability is like eternal, dude. That was amazing. Oh, I love it. And that, my friends, will be the three star. Grabbing the Dark Elixir and using our level 45 king for the very first time. I gotta love it. I You, you gotta love it, too. Do you love it? Because I love it. <laughs> All right. So with the loot bonus, guys, that was over 550,000 gold. That was uh, just on, under 500,000 elixir and a beautiful 7,000 dark elixir. Oh, baby. Oh, and then the clouds. They look so good, too. I'm amused by everything. Like when I watch my preview in 60 FPS, I'm like, it looks so good. It just looks so great. So let's get some star bonus and let's get some other upgrades done. Okay, let's bounce over. I can't obviously can't do any more hero upgrades and I've got too much gold to uh, collect my treasury just yet. So let's actually do a gold upgrade first. And of course, we're working on the cannons. So let's go and do a three million gold cannon upgrade two day upgrade in three, two, one. Bam. Awesome. So that's one down, four to go as far as builders are concerned. Let's collect the treasury. There we go. And oh, yeah, we're looking healthy, guys. We're looking great. Let's do another cannon upgrade. We've actually got only two more left. We could finish the cannons today. That would be awesome. So let's do this, guys. Three million gold to three to one. Bam. All right. And we can afford one more. Bam. And you know what? Let's just go in. Let's collect this uh, two and a half million gold out of the out of the climb medals or whatever. And let's do one more cannon. Let's finish off the cannons today. Going to level 12. Let's go. That's great. Because then we can move on to whatever's next. I don't even remember. I go through it every episode. And I forget in between each episode. So let's do this guys in 3, 2, 1. Bam. And that's good. Because then I can also wall move a wall back to where it belongs. There you go. Tons of cannon progress today too. That's awesome. Now, another 3 million gold upgrade. Let me see. None of these are 3 million. Awesome. So that means that the next upgrades that we're going to start doing are the giant bombs. Guys, we're slowly working. Oh, wait. That's not 3 million either. That's 3.5. Hold on. So that means that I'm actually going to be starting the wizard towers at 3.2. Awesome. The wizard towers and the mortars are 3.2 million gold. So we're just going to, again, and I've said this, I, I remember now saying this several times to, um, 
Start down at the uh, the bottom. My screen went dark for a second. I think it's because I don't have my, you know, like whenever you don't touch your mouse for a while, your screens go dark to like save energy. It just happened during the recording. So hopefully that didn't mess up the recording. It shows that it's still recording. So we're good, I hope. Uh, but anyway, I remember saying in past episodes, yeah, we're just going to start at the bottom and work our way down. So next time we're going to start working on our wizard towers going to level seven and they will get significantly better looking right now they're like a lighter pinkish purple and whenever you upgrade them they get like a darker purple they start looking a lot more sinister and that my friends is absolutely worth it so guys that's all the gold i don't have any more gold i've got 6.4 million elixir my next elixir upgrade will likely be seven and a half or so million elixir so i'm gonna hold on to all of my elixir i've only got two days you know uh, so I'm going to hold on to all my elixir and we're already 30,000 dark elixir on the way to being able, able to upgrade another hero. But again, we've only got 10 hero upgrades to go. That is amazing. Again, they, they get way more expensive and our progress seems to be slowing down significantly. But hey, at least we're making some fast progress. So guys, after all of that amazing progress is done, should I upgrade a wall? I think I should upgrade a wall. I'm going to upgrade a wall with the elixir. Uh, it's just it's just tradition. Let's do a wall in three, two, one. Bam. There we go. Now, it's going to be a little harder for me to have the elixir that I need for the next lab upgrade, but the challenge will be good for me. Right? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. So, guys, after all that amazing, amazing progress, let's, oh, excuse me, go back to your base. Let's, let's go. There we go. After all of that progress is said and done, let, guys, let's bounce into our comment section for today's comment question of the day and today's comment question of the day is from andrew johnson and andrew johnson says hashtag cqotd knowing what you do now what would you change or would you change anything with how you did a fix at i, I can't read would you change anything doing another fix at rush town hall 12 level 7 walls and defense with town hall 8 offense so if I could do fix that rush again, and I kind of am, I mean, like this fix that engineer is basically fix that rush. If I could do fix that rush again on a town 12, would I do anything different? And I would say no. I mean, like, I think that the way I've done it has been really successful. I've been focusing on dark elixir, trying to get my heroes upgraded. Obviously, with the excess elixir, I was managed to max my warden. So that was awesome. But focusing on heroes is very important. Um... Pouring extra loot, obviously, into walls is important, too. That makes you a whole lot less of a noob. And then, of course, maxing out your traps makes your base a lot more difficult to take out unless you don't log in a lot, and then your, your base is dead anyway, and it doesn't matter. Um, and then just working uh, along the line, you know, upgrading the defenses based on how much they cost. That's I didn't necessarily do that in Fix That Rush. Um, I don't remember doing that for Fix That Rush. I definitely did it here for Fix That Engineer but um, definitely would stick with the program that I've been sticking with here, getting the elixir done as soon as possible, pouring every 100% of the dark elixir into the heroes, and then once the elixir is done in the lab, then moving on to dark elixir in the lab, and of course, your goal would be to have your heroes maxed up before that happens, but that may or may not actually happen. So, Andrew, thank you so much for the question. Um, I guess the bottom line to answer your question is no. I, I would stick to my guns and do exactly what I did again because I, I think the plan that I went with actually was not bad. So if you're fixing your own rush or your own engineer, let me know in the comments how that's going. Like what what progress have you made? What what decisions do you need to make? Do you need help with those making those decisions? There's a lot of people in the comments that love to answer comments. So put post those, um, your progress down below if you're fixing a rush or an engineer. Also, be sure and post your very own comment question of the day down below in the comments section. Again, thank you, Andrew, for the... Um, question for today's video also guys like the video if you liked it hit that subscribe button also if you have not done so already for daily clash of clans gaming videos and for the record if you subscribe today you'll be subscribing on the very first day that we're using 60 frames per second it's a big deal to me because it, it's just it's technological and i just got a new computer so it's it's fun it's it's an experiment and let's just have let's just watch oh that's so smooth oh that's so smooth i love it <laughs> anyway guys that's all for me thank you all so much for tuning in once again like and subscribe and remember that i love each and every one of you and i will see you all again next time